everybody. Trying something a little different today. Good morning. <laughs> um, welcome to the SNR Motoring Super Early Morning Show Podcast Dope. What is this? 14? Should we do season three now since we're gonna change it up? I guess. Sure. I mean, who's who's listening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, us. Um, so, before we used to just talk about car stuff, but now we're going to integrate a bunch of other cool stuff. And by cool stuff, it's just stuff we like. <laughs> yeah, because that's all we know. That's all we talk about. So, let's go. Let's get into it. Okay, man. It's, it, you want to change it up, so you lead. Okay. I'll follow. I've, I've just got a few topics to talk about. Okay, let's do it. First one. Now, n- this necessarily doesn't have to be your favorite, but what album changed your life? Like what? Like you heard it one day, and it just like sent you off into a different direction, if you will. Uh, I'll go with mine first. Do you know it? Well, I was going to ask, like, changed my life or just a album that I heard and I was like, oh, my God, how, how is this even possible? Um, no, like, uh, I guess, I guess what album, like, made you start listening to the type of music you listen to today? Like, okay. It's just like set you down that kind of like lifestyle I guess. okay so a life changing album yeah okay you can go ahead and go since you're uh... mine is Smash by The Offspring that was a good album when I first heard that I was like what is this this sound that I'm listening to <laughs> like I like even before that you know I heard Green Day and whatnot, mm-hmm. and I didn't think it, it was you know it was just Green Day but I heard the officer and I was like holy crap like I want to know more about this Jamie Santiago actually played it for me it was a bad habit okay towards the end where he starts cussing I was like yeah. I think that was like everyone <laughs> liked that song just because of that <laughs> I was like oh my god did he really just say that <laughs> but then uh, that was I was probably I don't know 13 maybe when I first heard it. God, that was long ago. Mm-hmm. But, uh... A few years later, Randall and I started our first band, and he introduced me to the, the sound of punk rock. For, you know, officially. <laughs> on, yeah. on this day. Yeah, on Mark this day. <laughs> but, uh... It, I was like, this, this sounds familiar to my head, and I asked her, I was like, I, I don't know if you remember this, but for some reason I remember it vaguely. I was like, is Offspring punk rock? <laughs> and you were like, yeah. <laughs> Their first album was phenomenal. It, what was it? The, that was just The Offspring, right? Uh, or was that Ixnay on the Ombre? No, it was way Jennifer Lost the, the War. Yeah. That album was great. Yeah. Uh, for me, it'd probably be Pennywise. Is it? I knew you were going to go. Is it just self label? Uh, it, yeah. It's purple yeah. cover. Yeah, Pennywise. Purple with the black Pennywise logo. Yeah. I don't know if that has a name or not. I think it's just self titled. Okay. That one right there. Uh, Austin Floyd turned me on to Pennywise. Yeah. And it was it was the same thing. It was just like, whoa. <laughs> what is this? Like, I, I, I listened to that on loop. And then it was also, uh, it was a compilation. Mm-hmm. And it was Board Generation. Board Generation. Board Generation. And it had like no effects, Daredevils. Uh, I think Pennywise was on that. And it had like skateboarding and surfing and snowboarding videos with it. And yeah. It was the same thing. Like I just fell in love with it as soon as I heard it. Speaking of punk, uh, compilations, the, uh, what's it called? Dang, I just had it in my head. The Epitaph compilations. Uh, Punkorama? Yeah, Punkorama compilations. Oh, man. 
You had a thing for like compilation, like every time a new one came out, it was like well, a, it's like Fat Records. Yeah, Fat Music for Fat People, Live Fast, Die Young, or uh, Live Fat, Die Young. All those were great. Yeah, Punkorama, those were great. Uh, there was another one too that was like a, a series of them that was really good. But the the, the 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 compilations was like you didn't have to buy the whole CD, I guess. Well, it you know, it introduced you to a band you never heard of before, like Oscar. Exactly, yeah. like uh, Deviants. Yeah, because I'd never heard of them before until Punkorama. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So, do they still do those? What Punkorama? Punk I doubt it. Last one I ever attempted to listen to is Punkorama Ten, and they after five, I think they kind of. Went downhill, <laughs> just because like, I don't know, the, the they weren't that punk rock anymore. I don't even think Pennywise or No Effects was even on them. I don't know. I haven't listened to them. I, I listen like the same old five CDs. Yeah, over and over again. Who would you rather fight, Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers? Uh, that's tough because these people both of them are like well Jason's not really I guess is he even like human no because he's been killed and brought back so many <laughs> times but I mean really how could Michael Myers still be alive uh, still be a regular person too because he's been killed and brought back so many times yeah I don't know they both move slow so yeah. I would have the speed advantage which is weird just even sane because I'm like <laughs> the slowest man alive uh, neither one of them are going to have any technique except for slashing Yeah, uh, I feel like they both use the element of surprise which is completely in a fight is taken out of it yeah. because but it's like would it be like in like the octagon ox- that, yeah yeah, sure. Okay, so they can't like sneak but, around the corner or anything else. No, the element of surprise is kind of an oxymoron with them because they both move so slow. Yeah, but they like it's stab. Like they just kind of like stab people through walls yeah. and sneak oh, up, okay, sneak up you. behind yeah. people. Not necessarily they like jump out. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it wouldn't be like in like a street fighter. It'd be a sanctioned event in the octagon or boxing ring, whatever you prefer. Probably I'm going to say Michael Myers. Yeah? Yeah. I would say the same, only on the fact because of his ma- his mask isn't a hockey mask. Okay. So my hand wouldn't hurt as bad, I'm thinking. Okay. But, well, do they have weapons? No. No, it's just like, fist fight. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, i definitely go with Michael Myers because in, in Jason 8, when he takes Manhattan... The boxer is up on, they're up on that roof and he's boxing them and boxing them and boxing them and he gets to the edge and the boxer's just out of, out of steam Mm -hmm. and dude's like, all right, give me your best shot and knocks his head off. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Definitely. Michael Myers then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next one. Now, my buddy, uh podcast zero idea podcast was actually talking about this and i thought it was pretty neat um they just finished up their first season by the way so go check them out we're on we never they they actually like do a season and stop we just kind of like surprise you guys with the new season as we're going along with it it changes so much for us because we're like man we're bored of this let's do something else now what if Somebody redid Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory as a horror movie. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? Like, it almost is a horror movie in its sense, if you look at it that way. Yeah, it's creepy. Because he kills all them kids. (laughs) Yeah. Like, you don't know what happens to them. Which are we talking about here? The original. Okay, Gene Wilder. Yeah. Okay, then... Uh, I would Not be that all stupid Johnny Depp one. Or I was all on. I would be all on board with that. Yeah, that movie is 
as is is pretty creepy if you go back and watch it as like an adult it's yeah. like whoa i mean it's like yeah it, there's stuff in that movie like i don't think kids should well they wouldn't pick up on for yeah. one but as I, an adult you pick up on it so it's like he's killing all these kids and he's enslaved this entire yep. race of people <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the five year old and I watched it, and she, like, a lot of it went over her head. Yeah. She just didn't grasp it. That's one of Lucas's favorite movies. It's a, good, it's a great movie. Yeah. I mean, Elise loved it, too. It, it, it could be, like, it definitely could be because, like, the that one scene where that, that creepy old guy stops Charlie in the streets when he's uh, oh. looking at the, the chocolate factory. Yeah, it's like, somebody should re- redo that. Like, Mike, my, my, um, uh, Miller, the the guy with Sierra Idea, he was actually talking about taking like the music out of that movie and putting different like suspenseful music in the movie. That would change just, it. Yeah, that would just ch- change the the uh, thing entirely. The movie entirely. I think. Have that... you ever seen the movie Snowpiercer? No. <laughs> I think I want to watch it. Yeah, because there is a crazy theory that Snowpiercer is Charlie later in life. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a theory, just a fan theory. But even without that, knowing that, that movie is phenomenal, hands down. One of my favorite movies. Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. It's good. Like Netflix or something. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah, it's uh, the fish scene. Is it a like a horror movie or no, no? No, it's just like a like a a post apocalyptic world. <laughs> and it's um, it's Charlie. Well, fir- first watch the movie because yeah. I don't want to like spoil it for you. But yeah. watch the movie and then look up like the fan the Easter eggs. The theory, and stuff no, like the that? theory. Yeah, that this is Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's funny. It's great. <laughs> The, the movie by itself is just and I randomly picked that movie to watch I was like eh, this might be good Snowpiercer oh it's so good so good we are, we're drooping a little bit so I'm gonna adjust this up well that's all the topics I had I thought those those are the first three that popped in my head uh you wanna answer homeboy's questions or? oh yeah yeah we got um so if you're tuning in for the first time, feel free to ask us questions and answer the questions uh, that we talk about. Like you can you can chime in on the topics if you will. If you you want. can play along at home. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, our buddy Davis, he uh, we call him the question master, and uh, he asks us questions from time to time. I can't say every week because he skipped that one week. Get the guy a break. <laughs> it's a hard life being a question master. He needs a break. Yeah. Let's see where, if I can find him. Maybe he was busy that day. Yeah, he might have been. <laughs> All right, first one. If you could own any kind of recreational vehicle, what would you get? Example, ATVs, boat, RV, etc. Man. All three? Like, I really want a sidekick. Or a side-by-side or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want an RV just because... I want a camper. It's an RV, man. I want a camper. You go anywhere. I want to take the kids camping. Yeah. Does that count as an RV? Sure. Yeah. I want a boat, too. Mm, I don't want a boat. Pontoon boat? I like boats. I just don't want to have to deal with one. Freedom Boat Club. Yeah, yeah, with all this money I got. It's not that expensive. One time, okay, this is a funny story. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, a few years back before the kids were born, uh, we we used to go to the, my mom works for Blue Cross and Blue Shield, and uh, they were big donators to the American Heart Association. And every year they in February, they would do this thing called the Heart Ball, just like a gala, like like a black tie event kind of thing. And me and Christina would go just because five course meal, free tickets, free booze. There you go. Sign me up. So, uh, ran into this guy. I just kind of knew from Island bar. He was just like a regular. And, uh, 
I mean, he was we were both like hammered drunk and uh he was sitting at the table with like the the franchisee owner of freedom boat club here mm-hmm. and uh somehow they were giving away auctioning off free uh one year memberships to the freedom boat club so oh, nice somehow he ended up with them he didn't win them but he ended up with them and he's like he just like handed them to me he's like here man you take these have a good time so i was like oh my god yeah like wow this is awesome like i told i was so excited and told christina and everything and the next morning when things were a little more clear i looked at the bottom and it was like there were two spots for signatures and they weren't signed Mm -hmm. so i was like oh is this legit like (laughs) so i called them i called the freedom boat club i was like yeah i got to two take two you know memberships to your club and whatever She's like, oh, you're the one that ended up with them? <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. He, he's like, yeah, uh, I forget the guy's name, but I call him Smiley because he just had this, like, pure white smile all the time. <laughs> um, uh, she was like, yeah, he was uh, he was pretty drunk. Those aren't um, real. Like, they have to sign them for uh, them to I be see. I uh, see. legit. So I was like, oh, she's like, well, you can come down and take, and for your honesty, you can come down and uh, take one of our boats out. Nice. But I never did. <laughs> <laughs> so, damn. Oh, no boats and hose for me. Yeah. So that was. Next question. Any local or known restaurants that you guys enjoy? couple yeah They're, i really like gino's pizza they have good pizza yeah and scotto's pizza i like pizza corrado's pizza in the mall is the best uh, i haven't been to the mall in years there's nothing in there but player's choice and bass pro shops and corrado's pizza mm. <laughs> the one up here i don't i don't know about the one in myrtle beach i mean we'll randomly do work there but yeah. Few and far between. Um, Lucas thoroughly enjoys Japanese steakhouses. Good choice, man. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm I'm you know, pretty simple. Pizza joints are good with me. I'm the and Sam uh, Primos hoagies. They're for sale. Mm. Yeah, they must have not made it through the. No, before it. Oh really? Yeah, they were for sale. Oh man, they have it. Love me a primo hoagie. Uh, yeah, they were for sale. That's disheartening. Well, I mean, they're still open. Yeah, but whoever buys them, I mean, they probably oh, hopefully will carry on the torch. Yeah. If you never have had a primo hoagie, you're missing out. Yeah. Any kind of garage, garage, <laughs> garage, 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 garage art. Or decor that is a must have. Rocky. A Rocky poster. <laughs> we both have Rocky yeah. posters. You have to have that. Not planned at all. No. Yeah. It's just, you know, man stuff. Oh. You have to have a Rocky poster. And, and the, uh, Rock yeah, Auto Magnets. The Rock That's Auto Magnets. And I do have a couple of Hot Wheels. I feel like those. Yeah. I don't have any in here. I just got a bunch of junk. And that's in our motoring banner. Uh, yeah definitely Rocky have you seen Creed 2 no I haven't either I didn't like Creed 1 yeah Creed 1 was garbage I think I borrowed that from you and Tom borrowed it from me and Mm. never gave it back (laughs) I'm not too worried about it like I watched it I think two times and I was like this this is not good like they're trying to to recreate Rocky 1 and it's just not there yeah this or that. Oh, this is a given. Back to the Future, Hoverboard, or Star Wars X-34 Land Speeder. Uh, hoverboard, come on. Yeah, is that sorry. Even like a... I was trying to. Oh. 
<laughs> the computer went black. Yeah. I was trying to get it back. But yes, uh, hoverboard. Hoverboard for the win. Are the sweet shoes that lace themselves up? Yeah. Is it, If I can get the full ensemble with the hoverboard, that's like... like You'd never take it off. You'd no, just wear it all the time. No, I'd shower it and everything. Because it's got that auto dry. Mmm. Say that? There you go. <laughs> Sounds like you thought about that answer for a little bit. <laughs> no, it just popped in my head. Birds. Birds. We have a little nest on underneath our porch, and uh, there's baby birds in it. Every time I walk out, I get attacked by an army of barn swallows. My point. Where's my point? <laughs> Two Jay-Z or LS? Two J. Yeah? I don't know. I think I'd have to go LS. Just because... America. I don't know. <laughs> what, what was, why would you take two Jay Z over LS? It's a straight six that makes V8s cry. Mm. I mean, they make ridiculous amounts of power and live. Yeah. Not trying to take anything away from the LS, but it's a straight six. <laughs> I almost want to say I'm like picking the LS because of the 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 hype of the TJ but then again like the LS is the same way it's like yeah but the 2J lives up to the hype like yeah. it's there not because of Fast and the Furious like it's there because of proven yes numbers but well, it's like they're almost like the same motor just one's a it's a trait 6 and one's a V8 like they both they both have the same qualities I guess did I ever send you the picture of uh, white rice blowing up the 2J? Mm-mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't that the 240? Yeah. Yeah. So they were... The camo 240? Is that it's white. <laughs> white rice. Oh, I thought they put like a camo wrap on it or something. Uh, it was, last time I remember looking at it, it was white. No. Okay. But it, uh, it blew the, like, the block basically split itself mm. around the rotating assembly. What? It just kind of blew itself apart. So the rotating assembly was pretty much still intact? Yeah. The block had just been destroyed. Oh, wow. That's pretty... I'm sure that was a sight to see. i us see if I can find that. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know this. Uh... Fisker, Fisker Karma or new Toyota Prius? <laughs> you got me, bud. Pick one. Uh, this one. Prius. Okay, Prius. Because Toyota, I guess. Did, did, did Fisker Karma make more than one car? I have no idea. No clue. What are you looking up? Oh. Yeah, I think they only made that one car. Ooh. And it looks, Ooh. <laughs> looks like it's got like a um, like a French style mustache. Either that or it's like a uh, oh oh uh, what do you call it? A Saturn Sky. Mm. that's been hit in the face with a shovel and elongated because they're like they'd probably take up this whole garage they, have you ever seen one person no no they're very they're a, are a very long car oh what was I just gonna say I forgot oh since we're looking at the front of that car that have you seen the new BMW <laughs> have you no it's even bigger than the pre the predecessor. <laughs> like the meme is coming true. Yeah. Is that all their design team does? Just make the grill a little Just bit bigger. So they like sit down for their meeting and they're like There, that one right there. That's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. 
It's humongoid. Yeah, please stop. <laughs> I just made that. I just made that up. There it is. <laughs> it's, it is. Oh my gosh. So like 2020. 25 one is coming true like if i was a car manufacturer and i saw that and that would make me like realize like wait a minute it, it, it what are we doing well it's just ugly like how can you look at that and go that looks good yeah I mean, or it's... are they like did they see the meme and like they they want to make it true <laughs> they think it's funny yeah. It's like yeah let's do it <laughs> let's, let's do that let's they, do it for real that meme has got a lot of attention so maybe <sighs> we should make our grill bigger No. No, yeah, I don't. That's stupid looking. That's very odd. But my, I like check the news on my phone, and somehow, and I wish it would stop. I've even like put not interested, but it keeps putting in my news feed that uh, like all the front end conversions that everyone have been doing, like the renderings. To what? It's like. The Mark IV Toyota Supra with a LS four hundred front end. It's like why? Oh, just, I, yeah, just I know what you mean. Stop! Yeah, 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 it's yeah. stupid. I don't care. Like, why are we putting all these front ends on other cars? People just, are bored stop and stop. just learned about Photoshop, I guess. Oh, did they? Yeah. <laughs> What's this Photoshop you speak of? Mm. All right, that was all the questions from the Question Master. All right, do you have anything else you want to talk about? No, I don't. Okay. Do you? No. You good. don't want to talk about the fight? It was good. It was a good fight. UFC 250. Except for the main event. The main event was painful. Well, not painful. It was just... You could definitely tell. I w- who was the main event? It was uh, Amanda Nunes oh. and uh, Felicia. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Was it? Yeah, her first name is Felicia. But, but, but did Spencer, she, did Felicia she, Spencer, and she got messed up. Yeah, she. Uh, Nunez just like beat the hell out of her for five rounds. Mm. Just, I mean, Spencer had no, the girl has heart. Like I can't say anything bad about that. But she just five rounds. She got her face smashed in. Uh, I just. <laughs> I don't like, enjoy watching women fight for some reason. I, I can't. I, that nothing against you women and girls and whatever, but just doesn't uh, do anything for me. Like same with like like female singers in bands. There's a few exceptions, but like <laughs> I'm a, I guess I'm sexist. <laughs> you are. I have no problem with either. Yeah. I mean, as long as it's a good fight, I'm entertained. I'll watch. Yeah, I want to see some big burly guys go at it, like Tank Abbott. <laughs> Is he still alive? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I last night I haven't really kept up with it. Yeah. And uh, last night I only knew one name on the whole card, and that was Amanda Nunes. Really? Yeah, I didn't know anyone. They were great fights, though. Do the the do the fighters last as long as they used to? Like, oh yeah. Like, do they stay champion? For like, like Chuck Liddell, he was champion for not that long. No, I don't think or, so. Okay, Randy Couture. How's that? Is that a better example? He was champion for a long time. A long uh, time. Yeah. Like, are they still? Are they? Do they still allow that, or do they just want to keep it? Well, now keep the big, changing it up, and well, the big thing. In, Cause I don't even remember the last UFC, like, new UFC fight I've watched. It was probably during the Ultimate Fighter Season 1. The big thing that they have now is they'll have one champion for multiple weight classes. Like, yeah. Nunez holds two belts. Yeah. Two mm. different weight classes. Yeah. So you see that, that a too. lot now. Which, early UFC, you couldn't do that. Like, GSP, if he wanted to take another belt... Uh, who did he fight? Was it BJ Penn? If he wanted to move to a weight class, he'd have to vacate his belt to move to a different weight class. And now it's like, screw it. Really? You can hold as many as you hmm. want. Hmm. So you couldn't hold more than one belt. Wouldn't which I would like to see. That you can hold more than one belt? No, you that you can vac- only hold one. Oh, because really? you tie up that belt. 
Yeah. So you, if yeah. you hold two, say you hold a, a heavyweight and a light heavyweight, okay, mm-hmm. and you have two up and coming fighters who are you know ranked next in line. Yeah. Okay. Well, now one of those is going to have to wait longer than normal. Yeah, that is true. Because one person has to fight, yeah, and then has to you so. can't fight in two different weight. Like say, yeah, you can't defend two titles in one night on two different weight classes. Yeah, but it also it, it ties it's just it up not longer. fair. Not even fair. It's just you tie up a belt. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah. All right. Six forty-five. You want to call I, it? It's, yeah, that's all. I, I didn't know if you. Uh, no, that was it. What your your plans were? Because no. you were just like, hey, let's change it up. So like, this is okay. season three, episode one. <laughs> let's do it. Um, so yeah, if you want to help support us, you can go to snrmotoring dot com. I wouldn't say help support us, uh, support us, but. Uh, supports the channel yeah i was thinking of a different word than support fran <laughs> the franz list that we franz never did. list anyway yeah go to snrmotoring.com check out our merch uh we are on patreon patreon where's the turbo hat it's on the super, super turbo oh no hat. i gotta i gotta because i was gonna i need a new hat so i was yeah. gonna order one i'm like i don't see the I have to make it. Okay. It's a little harder than... Because I already had the file for the... Oh. Yeah. But, yeah. Check out our merch. We got new some... We got a new shirt on there, as Randall is displaying. And we have a new hat on there. And, uh, Patreon. And you can leave us a review on the whatever podcast app you use. And subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to hear more of us talking about what we like or dislike in your case yeah all right that's it (laughs) (laughs) thanks for listening thanks for watching we'll see you next week see you